In this video, we're going to see how we can use a custom class as the key type in a C++ map. So you can see that I've written a fairly simple student ID class that has two integers, one for an ID, one for a year. And then what we're going to want to do is create a map that maps student IDs to a name. So let me expand the size of this window a little bit. So now I'm going to create a map of student IDs to names, which we'll store as a string. Now I'm going to add several students to this. And so you can see for each of these, I've inserted a pair of student IDs with the actual student's name. So let me go ahead and print these. And so here you can see I have a for each loop that prints all the student IDs we've listed. So let's compile this and see if it works. And you can see that we got some errors. And you can see it doesn't like this comparison. Notice we're getting invalid operands to binary expression with two student IDs. Now, what that should indicate to you is that you need an override comparison operator in order for the map to work correctly. So let's go ahead and add that. Now, we only want to be able to compare two student IDs, so we'll make it a class member with the less than operator. It'll take a constant student ID reference because we're going to be comparing some student ID to another student ID. And we'll do our comparison first based off of year, then versus ID. So if the years are equal, we can't compare with those. So we'll compare the IDs. And that comparison returns a Boolean, so that's sufficient. Otherwise, we're going to return this year compared with b.year. And that should complete my overloaded operator. Let's compile again and see if that works. And you can see that it's telling us that we have an operator, but it's not marked constant because it wants this to be a constant function. So let's go ahead and fix that. So now this is a constant function. And you can see that it works. And we print out our values. Now suppose we want to do a search. So if we want to search our map, first off we need to create a new student ID object. Just as a reminder, the year is automatically defined, although I guess we should update that to 2022. So now I have this ID that I want to search. I can use the find function to determine if this particular ID key exists in the map. And for my else case, actually, I don't want to say the same thing. I'll just print the student ID. So I call the find function, and if I reach the end of the map without finding it, I'll say that I can't find it. Otherwise, I'll print out the student ID, and then I'll use the at method to actually grab the corresponding name for that ID. Now you'll notice this particular ID to search shows up in the map. What happens if we don't have one? To check that it works if it doesn't find it, I will duplicate this code, and I'll give it an ID that I know doesn't work. So let's see if our find works. So we have some errors. I'll need to rename this. And then it looks like I got ahead of myself here. That shouldn't be two. So my compilation worked out and you can see that it couldn't find either of these. 2788773, 2788773. So that is interesting. Ah, because it checks year first. So I need to update the year. and that works. I think this actually makes me think we need to change this. So it looks like we're checking by year first. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's check by ID first. So if the IDs are equal, then we'll do year. Otherwise, we'll do ID. And that way it doesn't matter if the year is off or not. And again, that makes a little more sense since we're actually creating it by the ID number. Okay, but I don't think that will affect how any of our stuff works. And I think I, at this point, we can call this particular example done. Cleaned up the output a little bit. Ah, added an error. That's always, that's why you always test your code before you officially call it done. So when I run this, my student IDs, my testing of the find, and all of this looks good. So I think we'll call this 
example done for now. But again, hopefully you can see that if you want to use a custom class as the key type in your map, that's certainly acceptable. You just need to make sure that you overload the less than operator. And once you do that, that's how C++ performs all the comparisons on the back end and your type will work fine inside a map.